Mater! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee genies. Come on, let's get moving. Yes. And we're going to have a day at the beach. Oh, and splash, 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 Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. It's Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson. Come on, baby. Oh, come and say hello to Samson, everyone. <laughs> oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. <laughs> oh, look, he's enjoying that. Ooh, is he? Oh, you can tell by his wagging tail. Oh. <laughs> How about we stop the packs and we dress up Claude? Oh, good idea, Granny Murray. Into your basket, Samson. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> You'll get a good view there while we dress Claude up for a hot day at the beach. Let's wade over to the chairs to my desert island. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Land ahoy! Oh. <laughs> There's nothing like a quick paddle to cool you down. <laughs> oh. Do you think Samson would like to go to the beach today? Oh, he'd love to. Oh, I hope you brought your swimsuit, Samson. <laughs> and what about you, Claude? Do you fancy a doggy paddle? Oh, no. I think sunbathing's more his style. There'll be none of that for me today. It's always busy at the hospital in the hot weather. People are always hot, dizzy and sunburned. Well, I always wear sun cream when I go out in the sun and a wide brimmed hat to shade my face. It's better to be safe than sorry. That's my motto. Wise words, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, don't forget to put on his sun hat. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, I like your hat, Claude. But I hope you've got sun cream on. I don't want you coming to the hospital with sunburn. Oh, wait a minute. Here you are, Claude. Oh, oh Samson. Oh, bye-bye, Samson. Be a good boy. <laughs> Doctor, do you know? Here's a wee present from Samson to keep you cool while you're at work. Oh, this will come in handy. You have no idea how hot it gets in my office. <laughs> come on. Now remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Ooh, I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh yes, I've got to put my scrubs on. Oh 
all dressed and ready to go. Oh, it's like an oven in here. You'll never cool yourself down with that little thing. This is what you need. Oh, that's brilliant, but don't you think this room's a bit small for a fan like that? No, not at all. Why don't you pop outside for a sec while I set it up, and when you come back in, it'll feel like a gentle breeze wafting softly across your face. OK. <laughs> I hope Nurse Henry knows what he's doing. Engine's on, chucks. Away, lift off. Oh, my paperwork! Oh, sorry, Doctor Juno, let me help you. Oh, no, 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 just... I'll do that. Just get back there and turn that thing off before you destroy my office. Sorry, I'll just turn it down to a lower setting. Oh, that's <laughs> much better. That was more like a tornado than a spring breeze. I hope Samson's getting on better with the heat. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. <laughs> Do you think we look cool with our hats and sunglasses, girls? <laughs> oh, Samson, I hope you're not feeling left down. I would give you sunglasses, but I don't think they would stay on your fluffy ears. <laughs> now, I'll let you off a little minute, but you must promise me that you won't go chasing any seabirds. Oh, you rascal. Dr Juno, you're needed in the examination room. Okay. Mickey John's brought in a wee boy's cut his hand. Oh dear, let's have a look. Hey, what have we got here? Oh, you poor thing. Mm, Callum was running around in the playground and he tripped and cut his hand on a jaggy bottle top. Oh dear, well it doesn't look too bad. We'll soon have you sorted, alright? But promise me one thing, that you'll play only where it's safe and not where there's nasty things lying on the ground, alright? Good. And I'll remind everyone that leaving litter lying around can cause accidents. Good plan, Mickey John. Well, you don't need any stitches. Nurse Hendry will clean this for you and put a nice bandage on it, all right? And then you can go back outside and enjoy the rest of the sunshine. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Dr Juno. All right, take care now. I have a feeling this hot weather is going to give Nurse Hendry and I a lot to do. So I'd better get back to work. It's so exciting in the hospital It's where the people who are ill get well Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights right up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take away your worries, yeah Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. Oh, your favourite comedian's in there, and he's got a face like a ripe tomato. Rudy? Hiya, Rudy. What's up? Oh, hi, Doc. I think I've eaten something that didn't agree with me. I feel all hot and tired and queasy, and I feel like you could fry an egg on me head. Well, you are looking rather pink. Do you think it could have been the kippers I had for breakfast this morning? No, I don't. This is a regular case of sunburn. Sunburn? That's impossible. I haven't even been sunbathing. Well, you don't need to be sunbathing to get sunburn, Rudy. How long have you been outside? Oh, since about 8 o'clock this morning. That's a long time on a hot day like this. Well, sometimes when you're working or moving around quite a lot, you don't realise you're getting sunburn. Is it serious? Well, you haven't turned into a lobster yet. <laughs> Nurse Hendry will give you some cooling lotion. Hey, hey, Doc. 
Why did I have to ban the lobster from the market? I don't know. Because it kept on pinching my fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear. Well, you can't be that bad if you're still cracking jokes. Well, you can get back to work, but make sure you drink plenty of water and wear a hat to keep the sun off your face, OK? Will do, Doc. OK. What a heat. I hope Samson's finding a good way to cool down. Watch out for jellyfish, Samson! <laughs> That's the way, the best way to keep cool. Who wants to build sandcastles? Me too! Come on, let's go and get our buckets and spades. Oh, good boy, Samson. Dr. Juno would love to see you enjoying yourself. Come on, darlings. Oh, you're going to be even more hot and bothered when you see how many people are in the waiting room. Oh, dear. I've never seen so many red faces. It's a good thing we stocked up in cooling lotion. Oh. I've been doing my best and working hard all day. Now the waiting room's filling up with people with sunburn. If this keeps up, we're not going to be able to cope. What am I going to do? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Samson off at Granny Murray's. It was a hot day, so she gave me a paper fan from Samson to help cool me down. At nine o'clock, I arrived at work. My office was as hot as an oven, so Nurse Henry tried to cool us down with a powerful electric fan but he put it on the fastest setting and it ended up blowing all my paperwork onto the floor. At 10 o'clock, I saw Callum, my first patient of the day. He cut his hand on a jagged bottle top while playing in the playground. Luckily, it wasn't serious and he didn't need stitches. At 2 o'clock, Nurse Hendry told me Rudy was in the examination room. He was feeling hot and dizzy and thought he might have eaten something that didn't agree with him, but I knew straight away he had sunburn. I got Nurse Hendry to give him some cooling cream and told him to drink lots of water and wear a hat. At three o'clock, Nurse Hendry and I looked through into the waiting room. It was packed full of people suffering from sunburn. Now remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. Of course, it's much better to be safe than sorry, especially when it comes to sunburn. And I know just the right person to help me get the message across, but it'll be a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Come on folks, come and get your sunshine fruits here Don't be shy, slap on some sun cream Pop on a summer hat and enjoy your sunny day Without having to pay a visit to Dr Juno <laughs> Hey Doc, Hi. why did the bananas wear sun cream? Oh, I don't know. Why did the bananas wear some? <laughs> so it wouldn't peel. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, great stuff. I knew I could rely on you to get the message across. Oh, right, I better get back to the hospital. And then I'm going to see my Samson soon. Did you enjoy your swim, Samson? <laughs> I think you did. Oh, you're a good boy. Now, my poppets, I think it's time for us to head home. We mustn't forget anything or leave any litter lying about. So pop any rubbish in the bag. Oh, Samson. Come on, Dr Juno will be home to pick you up soon. Dr Juno, come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. Uh -huh. Boy. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. 
It's better to be safe than sorry. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'll want to be all. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shearing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a sunbather because it was a very hot day. After we'd spent the morning blowing up armbands and pretending to paddle in the sea, I decided to take Samson off to the seaside. Dr Juno thought this was a great idea. The sun was very bright so I made sure everyone was properly covered up with hats and sun cream. Oh, we all looked really cool in our sunglasses. As soon as I let Samson off his lead, he went straight into the water. He had a great time splashing around and cooling himself down. Before heading home, we had a nice sit down and finished our cold drinks. At the same time as we were keeping safe from the sun, Dr Juno remembered it's better to be safe than sorry and set up a display on Rudy's stall to tell people how to avoid getting sunburn. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there with wee cream puffs. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> We're going to do some tap dancing, Sean. Are you ready? Oh, this is good. This will get your feet tapping. Ready? Tap, 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 tap. Shuffle step, shuffle step, shuffle step. Well done, you two. That's brilliant. Oh, well, we've got Sean and we've got Ellie. But someone's missing from home today. Come on, Kai. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh yes, it's Bobby with Kai. Hello dear. <laughs> Bobby, hello. <laughs> Hi, my pleasure. Come away through and see everyone. Let's get your chair. Say you can. <laughs> hey, what's all this? <laughs> well, we've been tap dancing, Bobby. Our feet are tingling, aren't they? Oh yeah, why is that? <gasps> Well, I'll give you a clue. I'm brushing on a smile as I clean my teeth. That brings a tingle to my mouth, brings a tingle to my feet. <laughs> it's Charlie Toothbrush. That's the one. We saw the show at nursery today with Raymond. Oh, isn't it brilliant? <gasps> you love Charlie Toothbrush, don't you, Kai? Yeah, he's cool. Well, now you're here, my darling, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as Charlie Toothbrush? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we can tippity tap to the cheers. Oh, I'm always up for a quick tippy tap, me, Granny Murray. <laughs> Very cute, Bobby. Do you know, I love Raymond's shows when he dresses up as different characters. Me too. Hey, do you remember that time that he put a doormat on his back and pretended to be Higgy the Hedgehog? <laughs> I nearly split my sides. Oh, that Charlie Toothbrush show is a right laugh. Oh, he's got a cheeky smile. And I suppose what makes it such a good show is that it tells people how important it is to brush their teeth. It's got a serious message. Yes, it's amazing how a smile can make serious things seem fun. Mm. Oh, talking of fun things. <laughs> Look at Claude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Claude, you're the spitting image of. I'm, I'm brushing on a smile as I clean my teeth. I bring the tingle, tingle in my mouth, bends a tingle to my feet. It's <laughs> Charlie Toothbrush. That's right. Oh, well, I'd best get off to work. 
Here, Mummy, take this to work. Oh, toothbrush. Thanks, Kai. I'll use this to clean my teeth after I've had my supper. Right, well, I'll see you in the morning. Mwah. You be a good boy. Have fun. Come Bye. on, you. Bye. <laughs> No, don't mean, but it's amazing how a smile can make serious things seem fun. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Yeah, me too. Well, you keep a wee eye on Bobby. Make sure she goes the right way to work. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit late today. How can I get to work quickly? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Take a, take a ticket on a bus I'll be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry through the bus lanes Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road Whining, 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 drive the speed up Squeaking, 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 slows us down Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets I'm squeaking, squeaking to our stop I'm in, 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 in a hurry <gasps> Hurry, hurry, hurry but before I do anything, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Smile, please, Bobby. Oh, um, OK. Ah, excellent. You've obviously been cleaning your teeth after meals. Eh? What are you on about? I'm checking your teeth. I've been put in charge of Rivesey Fingal's Clean Your Teeth Week. And your teeth are perfect. Oh, thanks. So, um, what else do you have to do then? I've been designing the advertising panels they put up on the buses. It's a very exciting opportunity, you know. So, um, what do these panels look like exactly? I put my thinking cap on and as it's about cleaning teeth, well, it was obvious. Obvious? Yeah, I decided we're going to have a big giant toothbrush all the way down the side of the bus. Oh, wow. Nice idea. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. Well, I'd better be off. I want to meet Raymond off the train. I want him to come to school to do his Charlie Toothbrush show. Oh, yes, Charlie Toothbrush. Kai loves him. Me too. Now, remember, scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, then spit down the plug. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, then spit down the plug. Hmm, I must remember to tell that to Kai. Oh, I wonder what you're up to right now, my little toothy peg. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. <laughs> Hard brush, isn't it? <gasps> Let's put on our hats and we'll look like Charlie Toothbrush. <laughs> Clean those teeth, don't be in a rush. Clean those teeth like Charlie Toothbrush. Brush your teeth, it only takes a while. If your teeth are shiny, you'll have a lovely smile. <laughs> you know the rule, brushing is cool. <laughs> okay, if you brush your teeth, you'll end up with a lovely smile just like your mum. What are you doing now, Mummy? Hey, don't you forget to clean your teeth tonight, Kai. Charlie Toothbrush is watching. Ooh, what are these? Sign here, please. Oh, OK. Thanks. But what are they? Mmm, well, I'd better take a look. Hey, these must be Mickey John's Clean Your Teeth Week design to go on the side of the buses. Oh, what a clever fella. Oh, well. I'll have to fix these up later on, but in the meantime, I'd better get on with some work. Bobby boogie woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Dazzle the day away, swinging to the city 
looking pretty and radiant, the hot caps gleam, the paintwork shines, a river sea double decker looks so fine, the driver she drives, collecting the fares, leaving then arriving she will get you there, this boss is stopping from picking up the pudding down, this boss is shining, it's the talk of the town. Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes Bobby walks the moonwalk cause she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight at its sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead Phew! That's another bus all sparkling and clean Hey, now we've got a moment, I can have a good look at Mickey John's advert on the side of this bus. Clean your teeth. And there's a toothbrush. Hmm, well, it's straight to the point, I guess. But will it be enough to get the whole of River Sea Fingal brushing their teeth, I wonder? Can't stop grinning when I brush my teeth. That brings a tingle to my mouth, that brings a tingle to my feet. Aww. <laughs> Oh, I hope my cheeky little toothbrush boy remembers to brush his teeth tonight. That's a good boy. Charlie Toothbrush would be pleased with you. <gasps> Squeeze on the toothpaste the size of a... B. Brush round in circles, it's easy you. C. Brush at the bottom, the back and the... Stop. And when you are clean, don't forget to... Stop. Don't swallow the toothpaste, rinse with a glug, swish all round and spit down the plug. Well done. Are your teeth sparkly clean? Let me see. Oh, they're as white as snow. Your mummy would be proud. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's only dancing toothbrush. <laughs> Oh, it'll soon be time for you to dance yourself off to bed, eh, Kai? Did somebody mention a dancing toothbrush? I know that voice. Cos that's my kind of toothbrush, mini brushers. I'm dancing on a smile as I clean my teeth with a tingle in my mouth and a tingle in my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond! Or should I say, Charlie Toothbrush? Well, if you did, you'd be telling the tooth, the whole tooth, and nothing but the tooth. <laughs> hey, Bobby. I bumped into Mickey John after work and he wants me to perform as Charlie Toothbrush at the school. Oh, you must. The children will love it. Oh, Kai hasn't stopped talking about Charlie Toothbrush since he saw you. You're brilliant. He loves cleaning his teeth now. Oh, the wee poppet. Anyway, where's this bus advert he was going on about? Oh. He's so proud of it he wants me to check it out. Come and have a look. Oh. There you go. Oh. Oh. Is that it? Yeah. Just a picture of a toothbrush with the words, clean your teeth. Hmm. Oh. Don't you like it? Well, it's just not very exciting. <laughs> I don't think people will notice that. Well, why not? Well, it's a bit serious. Hmm. Oh, no. I've been working hard all evening cleaning the buses and putting up the new clean your teeth adverts, but Raymond thinks that it looks a bit serious. Whew. Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's house. They'd been tap dancing because their feet were tingly, just like Charlie Toothbrush. So the children dressed Claude as Charlie Toothbrush. Me and Granny Murray love Raymond's performance as Charlie Toothbrush. He's so funny. At seven o'clock, I got to work. Mickey John popped in. He was in charge of Clean Your Teeth Week. He told me that he had designed a special advert to go on the side of the buses. At eight o'clock, Mickey John's advert arrived. I was looking forward to seeing it up on the side of the bus. Then at 10 o'clock, I had a moment to look at the advert properly. I hoped it would make people want to clean their teeth. At 11 o'clock, Raymond came round to have a look at Mickey John's advert too. But he was very disappointed and thought no one will pay any attention to it because it all looks far too serious. Now remember, it's amazing how a smile can make serious things seem fun. It's amazing how a smile can make serious things seem fun. I know what we can do. Raymond! We're going to put a smile on the front of every single bus in this depot. A Charlie toothbrush smile. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it.
sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, I'm sure she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. That's brilliant! Oh, the buses look much smilier now. Yeah. So, um, don't you think it's time that Charlie Toothbrush put in an appearance? Charlie Toothbrush? But, ooh, I'll need... <laughs> OK, many brushers, you know the rule. Brushing is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brushing on a smile as I clean my teeth With a tingle in my mouth and a tingle in my feet I can't stop grinning as I brush up and down I can't stop spinning as I brush round and round Tap, 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 eyes and teeth I Tap, 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 eyes and teeth <laughs> Oh, Charlie, toothbrush, you are the tops <laughs> Oh, I wish Kai could have seen that He'd have absolutely loved it <laughs> Oh, darling, he's still holding his toothbrush. Oh, look, he's turned it into a mini Charlie toothbrush. Oh, clever pumpkin, your mummy's so proud of you. I'm thinking of you, mummy. <laughs> Your mum's here, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh, <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thank you. Bye-bye, my treasure. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. It's amazing how a smile can make serious things seem fun. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Come on, Kai, let's go. That's, That's the way. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Right, come on, Kai. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shearing, choosing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round. Sitting down! <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as Charlie Toothbrush. The children and I did some tap dancing. We had tingly feet, just like Raymond sings about when he performs as Charlie Toothbrush. Then me and Kai had a good laugh dressing up as Charlie Toothbrush. Remember the rule, brushing is cool. Before bed, Kai brushed his teeth. He wanted to do it the fun way that Charlie Toothbrush showed him. It made us smile. And Bobby made her buses smile too, because it's amazing how a smile can make serious things seem fun. Kai fell asleep dreaming of Charlie Toothbrush and his teeth were sparkly clean. I love the way my teeth feel all squeaky clean when I've brushed them. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.